issues. So um, I have the pleasure to present Toby Cohen and uh, her presentation. Is, she is from the New School of Social Research and her presentation is Digital Out of Home Technology and the Environmental Escapades. Digital out-of-home technology continues to help inform, enthuse, and or influence the public day-to-day -day in restaurants, houses of worship, hotels, airports, etc. But what most people don't realize is what an ally it can be to the green endeavor as compared to traditional signage such as billboards, placards, posters, and or other out-of-home print signage. A typical 8.27 by 11.69 piece of paper can utilize over nine liters of water. A set of print ads can produce and emit well over 50 tons of CO2. That makes for a lot of environmental waste, as does print signage's vulnerability to damage and deterioration. In comparison to print, digital out-of-home displays can, elevate, can be at elevated heights, still be viewable and legible, they're brighter, and be completely out of reach making them even less susceptible to vandalism. Plus, they're far less vulnerable to weather wear and tear and or depreciation. Therefore, they require less maintenance and or fewer replacements than paper-based signage does. In addition, due to the fact that digital out-of-home content is mostly in motion, it allows for a wide variety of information to be released in sequence and or at regular intervals rather than print signage, which would require multiple billboards, placards, and or posters to deliver the same amount of information. Therefore, less paper is used and ultimately more trees are conserved. As compared to car radio broadcasts and or stream podcasts, digital out-of-home's ability to deliver a lot more information, such as weather statistics, time of day, directions, ads, etc., often all at once, at subway and bus stops, can make public transportation seem more appealing to ride in than cars. This can result in fewer exhaust emissions being generated. Due to continuous research, testing, and upgrades, digital out-of-home display quality and versatility continue to be on the increase. But are its green leverage levels continuing to climb higher as time goes on? Unequivocally, yes. For one thing, most Latter-day LCD and LED displays are using less electricity than ever before. Also, some digital out-of-home displays direct light emissions directly at the intended audience, which requires less power 
and which can also result in fewer car exhaust emissions, such as when viewing curbside eatery information, etc. Some digital out-of-home displays are constructed using no materials which would be harmful to the environment. There's no time like the present, perhaps, but wait. As digital out-of-home technology advances even further into the future, let's see if even less reliance on fossil fuels, more reliance on solar power, and less use of paper in content creation and posts, as well as in hardware and software, emerge. Thank you very much, Toby. <laughs>